Okay, let's do a homework problem. Remember long division? We're going to do it now with polynomials. We're going to take x plus 6, a binomial, a linear binomial, and divide it into a cubic. x to the third plus 9x squared plus 14x plus 24. Let's do it. Move this down a little bit to get a little more light on top. All right. I hope this brings back some memories. How, what do I multiply this leading term x by in order to get this leading term x cubed? Well, I would multiply by x squared. So in the x squared column, I'll write x squared. Then I'll take x squared and I'll multiply x, and I'll get x to the third, and I'll multiply x by plus 6, and I'll get plus 6x squared. Then I'll draw the line and change my signs. Now x cubed minus x cubed is 0, while 9x squared minus 6x squared is 3x squared. And then I bring down the next term, plus 14x. Now I start the process again. What do I multiply x by in order to get 3x squared? And this is what I multiply it by plus 3x, because 3x times x is 3x squared. And 3x times plus 6 will be plus 18x. Then I draw the line and I change my signs. Now 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0. 14x minus 18x is negative 4x, and I bring down the next term, negative 24, or minus 24. Now I start the process all over again. What do I multiply x by in order to get negative 4x? And the answer is negative 4, or minus 4. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times positive 6 is negative 24. Draw the line, change my signs. Negative 4x plus 4x is 0, and negative 24 plus 24 is 0 so my remainder is 0. And what that says is that x plus 6 is actually a um, factor of x to the third plus 9x squared minus 14x minus 24. And look what the quotient is. You get x squared plus 3x minus 4. Now we're going to do the same problem again but we're going to use sim synthetic division. Think of x plus 6 as x minus negative 6. The reason is that we take the number after the minus sign when it's being subtracted from x. So I'm going to take negative 6, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write negative 6, and then I'm going to write a backwards L to kind of box it in. And then I'm going to write the coefficients 
of the cubic term. That will be 1, 9, 14, and negative 24. Then I'm going to draw a line, but I'm going to skip a line so that I can write numbers in here. Now this is what I do, and watch carefully. I bring down the 1, then I multiply 1 times negative 6, and I write the answer here. 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. And then I add 9 plus negative 6 is positive 3. Now I take this number and I multiply it by negative 6, I'll get negative 18. And I'll write it right here. 14 plus negative 18 is negative 4. Now I'll take negative 4 and multiply it by negative 6 and get plus 24. And I'll add negative 24 plus 24 is 0. I have just done something called synthetic division. And I have gotten exactly the coefficients of the quotient. Here's 1, here's 3, here's negative 4. And this 0 is the remainder. Since this was 1x to the third, this will always be the coefficient of x to 1 power less. So this is going to be 1x squared plus 3x minus 4 and remainder 0. We've just done exactly the same thing. I have done polynomial long division here, and then taking the negative 6, I have done synthetic division and gotten exactly the same answer. Now, <clears throat> We're going to do this problem. We're going to take x plus 4, and we're going to divide it into x to the fourth minus 12x squared minus 64. But you need to be sure to remember that there are missing terms here. We write polynomials in such a way that the, the powers are descending, and indeed these powers are descending, but while there's a quartic term, there's no cubic term. There is a quadratic term, but there is no linear term. So we're going to have to use space holders. So I'll write x to the fourth plus 0x to the third minus 12x squared plus 0x minus 64. Okay, we need these placeholders. Remember that 0 times x to the third is really just 0. And 0 times x is really just 0. So we have added 0 to the original polynomial. We haven't changed it. We've just changed the form, but not the numerical value. Now I'm going to ask myself the same questions I asked before. What do I multiply x by? in order to get x to the fourth power, well, I multiply by x to the third power, which is x cubed. Now, x cubed times x 
is x to the fourth. And x cubed times plus four is plus four x cubed. Then I draw the line and I change my signs. Now x to the fourth minus x to the fourth zeroes out, while zero x to the third minus four x to the third is negative four x to the third. And I bring down the next term minus twelve x squared. I ask myself, what do I multiply x by in order to get negative 4x cubed? And the answer is going to be negative 4x squared. So negative 4x squared times x is negative 4x cubed and negative 4x squared times plus four is going to be negative sixteen x squared. Pull this out. Now I draw the line and I change my signs. Negative four x cubed plus four x cubed zeroes out but negative 12x squared plus 16x squared, that's a 16, equals 4x squared. And I bring down plus 0x. Now I start again. What do I multiply x by so that I'll get 4x squared? And the answer is plus 4 x. Now plus 4 x times x is plus or positive x squared. And plus 4 x times plus 4 is plus 16 x. I draw the line and change my signs. Now 4x squared minus 4x squared zeroes out, while 0x minus 16x gives me negative 16x, and I bring down the minus 64. I ask myself again, what do I multiply x by so that I can get negative 16x? and the answer is going to be negative 16. Negative 16 times x is negative 16x. And negative 16 times positive 4 is negative 64. I draw the line. I change my signs. And so negative 16x plus 16x is 0 and negative 64 plus 64 is 0, so I have remainder 0, which shows that x plus 4 was always a, um, a, a factor of x to the fourth plus 0x to the third minus 12x squared plus 0x minus 64, or x to the fourth minus 12x squared minus 64. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did before. I'm going to change x plus 4 to x minus minus 4. Now you have to admit those are the same things. But now I'm going to use this number, <coughs> negative 4, <coughs> excuse me, this number, negative 4 in my synthetic division. Okay, so I'm going to write negative 4 in a kind of a backwards L, and then I'm going to write the coefficients that are underneath the radical. 
I will still need placeholders. So I'll have 1, <coughs> 0, negative 12, 0, negative 64. And then I draw a line, skipping a space, because I'll be writing numbers in here. The first step is always to bring down whatever number that is. Just bring it down and copy it. Now 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Negative 12 plus 16 is positive 4. Positive 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. 0 plus negative 16 is negative 16. Negative 16 times negative 4 is positive 64. Negative 64 plus positive 64 is 0. I have a 0 remainder, which also shows that negative 4 is a 0 of x to the 4th minus 12x squared minus 64. And these are the coefficients of the quotient, or the answer that I get. In fact, the answer I got up here. 1 x to the third minus 4 x squared plus 4 x minus 16. Synthetic division is much easier when you can use it. And there's only one time you can't use it for division, and that is when you're, use, you're not using a binomial. So if you had three terms here, you could not use uh, synthetic division, and I was wrong. There's also another time that you can't use synthetic division, and that is if you have something like 2x minus 4. Okay, you have to have a 1 in front of your x. So you would not be able to use synthetic division. You would have to use old-fashioned division for that. Okay, that's polynomial long division and polynomial synthetic division.